The banditos have been outlawed, told to leave, canceled. Coming up. So, the banditos have been outlawed. This has just happened in Germany. Yes, the organization was outlawed. Any corporation stuff is gone. Banut, finished. Thank God we live in the United States where this kind of stuff is not supposed to happen. But is it really not happening? We see law enforcement all the time with their profiling, with their media blitzes of propaganda against MCs, them going after the Mongols Motorcycle Club's patch. They're a test case, by the way. And this is why you've seen a lot of MCs, even though they didn't get along with them, say, you know what, we better get involved in this stuff or it ain't going to be going good for us. We do have a Bill of Rights here in the United States. Most countries do not. Many people don't understand the cultural issues that other countries have compared to the United States. This is seen in Oz or Australia already. The bikies. They can't congregate nothing like that without the police being all the way up the poop chute. So when something like this happens, it's big news. I believe that's already happened in Denmark. And it looks like the European countries are going to be following their lead because Germany has just did it. And I know you're going to get a lot of people saying, well, if we can't get along, they're going to do that here in the United States. Well, again, we have a constitution, a bill of rights. No matter how they hard they try. We still have that document that protects us. It might be a hard, expensive road to fight, but we'll win. And I do feel sorry for other countries because they don't have what we have here in the States. I always said it is the best thing being an American biker, living the lifestyle, supposedly doing what you wanted to do. Many people, they give up that right because they want to feel security and comfort. But those who truly believe in this lifestyle, live it to its fullest, go to the edge, and jump off. Best thing in the world is being an American biker. Let's go to the story real quick, and I'll give you some more uh, insight here. And this came out of Shine.cn. Germany has banned and dissolved the country's largest motorcycle club. The Banditos MC Federation West Central and its 38 sub-organizations, the Federal Ministry of Interior said. Now, you're saying, what is that? What is the uh, Banditos MC Federation West Central? Well, here in the United States terms, you're probably looking at the incorporation type of deal. The 38 sub-organizations are the chapters. Instead of just promoting motorcycle riding together, the club, whose members were prone to violence, was primarily concerned with its, quote, criminal self-assertion against competing rocker groups and other organizations, the BMI noted. Sound familiar? It does to me. We hear it all the time here in the States. Criminal organizations. Even though it's only a few people, like I always say. That is the narrative that you are hearing in other countries in order for the governments to ban them. 
It goes on. The assets of the club had been confiscated, according to the BMI. Now, what is the assets of the club? The clubhouses? Bank accounts? Members' motorcycles? I don't know. The crimes committed by its approximately 650 members include grievous bodily harm and even homicides. So, this BMI is a legend that 650 members were involved in this kind of stuff? I find that hard to believe. I call BS. It goes on to say, last month a local chapter of the Banditos Club in the German state of North Rhine was already disbanded. The Ministry of Interior proved that the subsequent uh, self dissolution of the national group was only a sham and that the Banditos still exist. I hate to tell you guys, they do still exist. You might not see them in their current form with rockers and all that type of stuff. Which, by the way, you force somebody underground, you don't know what the hell is happening at that point. Brotherhood is more than patches. So do you really think that you're going to stop a brotherhood from existence or going under their club name just because you ban them? I don't think so. Quote, this is from the Interior Horse, nice name, those who trample our laws do not disappear from the radar of our security authorities just because they declare their self-dissolution. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting way of looking at all this type of business, isn't it? How, I have to say, ignorant these people really are. These governments, you know, I can understand. Uh, European countries, they've been around a long damn time. They have very old customs. And that bleeds out to the normal working day folk as well. Their customs. That's why if we from the United States went to a country, say, I don't know, Italy or something, it's just off the top of my head. It would be a totally different scene than what we're used to here. True story. Totally different scene. And that's the government as well. See, we're used to the way we do things here in the United States. But we don't know how Canada... I can't even name anything other than a prime minister in Canada. I don't know how their politics work. I don't know how the politics work in Germany. What I do know is the people that are living in them countries don't have the same rights we do as American citizens. They don't got a constitution that says you can't do this. They don't got a constitution that has the Fourth Amendment where you can't have unreasonable search and seizures. They don't have any of that type of stuff. So they're able to come out right away, just like Denmark did, and say, guess what? You're outlawed. No, you can't exist. Even though I don't think they'll get away with it, because like I said, members will probably start going underground. Which maybe, hey, in countries like that, all over Europe, and especially Australia, maybe they should start thinking about doing that kind of stuff. Because the cops will never know who the hell they are anymore. I say turn it around on them. If they want to be pricks like this, turn it around and use it against them. People have to start standing up for what's right. They really do. One disturbing thing that I covered on the Hollywood and China Doll show. The FBI. Yes, the nation's leader, you know, among law enforcement here in the States. 
has asked people who have family or peers or acquaintances that if you think they are coming or becoming radicalized, you should report them to the FBI. Oh, yes. It's a true story. It's all over the place. Now even our government is starting to erase our basic rights as Americans. And the problem is we sit here and do nothing about it. So when people say, well, if clubs don't start getting along, that's what could happen. Just like Germany and Denmark or Australia. I disagree. What I think will bring that about is the people of this country following directions, like from the FBI, to report on each other. People actually think it's okay to rat on anybody. Anybody and everybody they'll rat on. Isn't that a disgusting thought right there? I would have never thought that a government that is ran by the Constitution we got would get so out of control. But it started after 2001 with the the planes flying into the Twin Towers. We gave them the power through the Patriot Act. Because everybody was scared. But once you give them a little bit of power, it's all going to go downhill from there. And we're seeing it now. Extremism is the top worry in the United States. Interesting. What about all the murders in Chicago? All the big cities like New York. Maybe, just maybe, you would want to get your priorities straight. But no, you want to turn everybody against each other. And that's what leads to the downfall of a country. We're seeing it all over the world right now. So very interesting stuff right here. Germany has now banned the banditos. And I'm interested, and I'm going to do a little more research to see who, what country might be next. I do know, and I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, Denmark also went after the Hells Angels. Are they next in Germany? Who's next in Germany if they see fit that a few individuals, I don't believe the 650 number, did a few crimes. And then they blame it on everybody else. I can't see it, but I will be interested in finding out who's next. What do you guys think? What do you think of these countries banning MCs? Do you think we got the legal protection here in the United States to make sure something like That don't happen here. What do you think is the biggest threat right now to the United States? A lot of very interesting questions here. Let me know in the comments section. I'm going to go over to the radio station right now. China Dow is in here. And boy, did she give a strip tease the other day. Woo, seen it all, bared it all. My goodness gracious. Throw the dollars is what I say. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And also, pass it around to all your friends and stuff. That helps us. If you pass it around to us to one friend and they subscribe, that works more than a donation does. I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good one. Be safe and get educated.